So today I'm going to discuss on chapter 1 which is the introduction to management science. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss, the introduction. So let's let us um, discuss how uh, management science is being applied in the field of business and in decision making. And then what is management science, the definition of management science. Then the quantitative analysis approach, these are the steps okay, on how to apply management science or the different methods in management science. And then how to develop a quantitative analysis model. So we try to apply um, the different models that are being used in management science or the quantitative techniques like in um, break-even analysis, something like that. And then the possible problems in quantitative analysis approach. Okay, so this is more on the application, okay, on quantitative analysis or management science. Of course, the implementation on the different quantitative techniques or in management science. Okay. So, of course, uh, first thing to do is to describe the quantitative analysis approach, okay, the, the different steps, and, and how to apply it in a real-life situation, and present various quantitative methods in practice, okay? So, these are the different uh, quantitative analysis approach or method like the for our forecasting, linear programming, okay, we have the... Decision-making analysis, transportation problems, something like that. So those are the different quantitative analysis. And of course, we try also to use some of the uh, software that, um, that are being used in quantitative analysis. Uh, usually in quantitative analysis or management science, we make use of the QM, QM for Windows application. So you uh, try to... Uh, download the application in your computer or yeah for free okay and then uh, discuss possible problems using quantitative analysis so more on the application of the different quantitative techniques in business and then perform break-even analysis so this is just a sample model or quantitative model uh, that are being used in management science Okay, so let's have the introduction. So it says here, mathematical tools have been used for thousands of years. So uh, recently, there are many mathematical, uh, or nowadays, there are many mathematical use that are being used in management science, like the calculator, the graphing paper, the protector, what else? We have the mic micrometer, okay? ruler we have the calculator scientific calculator computer so those are the mathematical tools that are being used in management science and quantitative analysis it says here can be applied to a wide variety of problems see so that's how uh, quantitative analysis is being applied in any field especially in business and it is just not enough uh, uh, not enough to know the different mathematics technique so you should uh, be able to apply it in a real life situation so one must understand the specific applicability of the technique its limitations and its assumption so if we have a different quantitative analysis method then there are also different limitations okay so not all uh, quantitative analysis is being applied on a particular scenario because there are limitations there are also assumptions okay of these different quantitative techniques okay so see uh Taco bell saved over 150 million dollars using forecasting and scheduling quantitative analysis model so if you look into these uh, the, uh different scenarios and the different businesses so they would be able to apply uh, different quantitative methods in management science like the Taco Bell is being uh, have uh, been uh, saved okay 150 million dollars for forecasting 
Okay? So, forecasting and scheduling is a sample quantitative techniques that are being used in marksman science. Okay? So, they they, uh, they also be able to increase their revenues okay, by $200 million by the NBC television okay, using quantitative analysis okay, to develop better sales plan. Okay? And here, uh, quantitative analysis models to quickly recover from weather delays and other disruptions. So, meaning to say that those different quantitative techniques in business are very significant in all fields, okay, especially in business. So, these are the different management science or quantitative analysis method, okay. So, we are going to discuss this one for the entire chapter. Uh, for the next chapter, I should say, so we have the linear programming, project scheduling, inventory models, waiting line, simulation, decision analysis, forecasting, and Markov process models. When we talk about uh, linear programming here, we are going to uh, maximize or minimize the production okay, based on the available raw materials that are present in our business. So, from these uh, raw materials, how many units that are that can be produced in order to maximize or minimize the cost of production? So that's how we make use of the linear programming problem. Pro project scheduling like the per CPM, okay? So in a particular uh, project, we would be able to determine the the number of hours needed to complete a particular project okay and also um what you call this one we, we would be able to uh identify the different um uh, activities that are crucial in the process okay in the production okay then we have in inventory models, okay, we make use of the EOQ or the economic order quantity, okay, the sensitivity analysis, okay, the price break model, and the fixed order quantity model. Yeah. And the waiting line or queuing models. So here uh, we try to estimate how many minutes required for a customer to stand in a queue. Okay. So that we could uh, our service services to our student uh, to our clients is considered uh, uh, effective or efficient services. Okay. Si simulation. Okay, this one's just like um, a model that is being used in or applied in a practical scenario okay a good example of this is the traffic line okay in traffic lights okay that are being used in the streets okay the decision analysis so here uh, we try to discuss on the different um the uh, decision methods like a decision making under the condition of risk uncertainty certainty okay and those uh, three uh, decision-making analysis, there are different methods that we, need, that we can apply based on the criterion that we are going to do. Forecasting. In forecasting, we have the qualitative and quantitative forecasting. In qualitative forecasting, we have the Delphi method, okay, the jury executive opinion, the Salesforce composite, the consumer market survey, something like that. And then in quantitative analysis also, in for a decision making, we have the time series analysis, okay, the moving averages, the, what you call this one, um, exponential smoothing, something like that. And we have also causal, okay, causal quantitative forecasting. So we make use of the regression, the simple regression analysis and multiple regression analysis. So let us define what is a management science. It says here, a management science is a scientific approach to managerial decision making whereby raw data are processed and manipulated resulting into meaningful information. So we have a raw data as our input. Okay? And the raw data as our input will 
be processed using quantitative analysis. So we have this one. These quantitative analysis are methods that are being used okay, for the raw data. Okay? So if we have the raw data and then we process it using a quantitative analysis, it's either forecasting, it's either uh, what you call this one, a sim simulation or de this decision making analysis and then we come up with a meaningful information that would be our output okay so based from our raw data we process it using quantitative analysis in management science and then we come up with an output okay an output that can be used to use in decision-making process okay so management science also referred us to operation research quantitative methods and analysis and decision sciences so these are the other firms that can be associated with management science okay so what are these quantitative factors in management science okay so um, this quantitative factors and qualitative factors may also affect in our decision making okay like the quantitative factors like the investment alternatives okay so we have um we are going to invest in uh, mutual fund okay in bonds something like that okay interest rates it could also be a factor that could affect our uh, decision making okay Inventory levels, if it is uh, maximum or minimum levels. So we need to have a, a consistent decision making when it comes to decision, uh, to inventory models. The demand, okay, if the demand is high, if the demand is low. So what could be our uh, decision, okay, in this particular scenario? And we have also a qualitative factors that could affect our decision making, like the weather, okay? state of federal legislation, technology. So, this one, all of these factors, okay, could affect in our decision making process, okay? That could affect in our decision making process. So, management scientist is a person skilled in the application of management science technique. So, um, we can also, uh, um, uh, what you call this one, uh, say it or the other, uh, the other term for management scientist is what we call the decision maker. Okay. So, the, so that the, you know, the decision maker is a person. Okay skilled person okay in the application of management science techniques a model is an abstract of mathematical representation of a problem situation so here a, uh, this model now could be uh, used in the application of management science in a particular uh, method okay so if we have a model then we have also a variable that is used to represent an item that can take on any value okay okay so uh, this is the quantitative analysis approach the steps that we need in uh, in the different uh, quantitative methods so we have first thing is to define the problem okay that's the very uh, important thing in any uh, quantitative analysis then after uh, defining the problem we develop a model then from that model we have an input of data then from the data we find a solution then after finding the solution we test it after testing the solution we analyze okay the results okay if the result is not good then we go back to the model okay then after or after testing the the solution if it is not uh, good then we go back to the model okay we only implement the results if the after analyzing the results when if it is good then